Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. Hi! Pink Fox in the room as well. She's resting, I'm not. She's tired, I'm not. I'm not tired, my body just hurts from a 10 hour shift. Okay, her body's tired. Anyway, I digress. Haven't even brought up the topic of today yet. That's literally, where. whatever you're watching, it's one of these two directions. Um, I'm surprised I haven't talked about this yet, but the Dark Triad. It's something, so I was going through a, li a new list um, that I hadn't looked at yet as far as like psychology topics go and I came across one on psychlens.com called The Dark Triad. Um, it, didn't, it didn't say very much about it, but as I was reading it, I was like, this is actually kind of interesting. For those who don't know what The Dark Triad is, it's a trilogy of personality types. Narcissism, psychopathy, and big word that I'm not going to say that basically means unethical. <laughs> um, so we're just going to go with that word instead. I mean, I actually looked up, there are a few words it can mean. It's It would mean either unethical, un, uh, unprincipled, cold throat, immoral, you know, that kind of concept. Um... It, 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 those three combined, the Dark Triad has kind of a roll of dice, of a dice, whether it be a bad thing or a good thing. A lot of people hear those words and they immediately think it's bad, but it really depends on the topic you're talking about when it comes to this aspect. So let's, you know, let's get rid of the elephant in the room, the bad. Social media is a good example of this. The best example to describe what the dark, how the dark triad specifically impacts, um, that would be. There was a time era here on YouTube where a lot of people would say stuff, or make some actions, or you know put up little clips, or put descriptions in descri their descriptions of the videos, yada yada yada, and people would take fractions of those and flip them on their heads. The personality types of people who usually ended up doing that were those who hated on whatever person was doing it. Um, they would flip it on its head and turn it pretty much into something that wasn't said. Kind of like what you would see in a lot of stereotypical articles, or at least, you know, articles that used to exist way more often than they do now. Um, now this is still kind of a thing in the past that I'm referring to. It doesn't happen as frequently anymore, but this is a very good example of where the bad side of the dark triad can kind of come from. Just because that aspect doesn't happen anymore doesn't mean like it doesn't happen, period. I still see this kind of stuff a lot from individuals IRL. They'll take what you say and then twist the words as if you were saying something else. I've met a lot of people who have done this before. And it's sad. Now, usually that aspect comes from the people who are either narcissistic or have psychopathy. It rarely comes from those who are unethical. The When it does come from that third category, it usually just means they don't care. Which, I guess makes sense, but in the long haul, not so much. Either way around, that's kind of the downer side, I guess you could say about it. But what is the upside? A lot of people have a tendency just to think about the downside. Well, I'm going to refer back to Cyclens and kind of read a fraction of what they put down for this. Um, in the paragraph that they put, and I quote, These traits are considered to be undesirable or bad. But these traits do not always predict negativity in those who have these personality types. In fact, some longitudinal studies actually found that people who have a high level of dark triad personality tend to ha achieve a high level of success." End quote. Now does this mean that only people who have the personality types from the dark triad succeed? Well, no. Duh. Uh, but 
there it it does kind of explain why a lot of people who where the what like for example where the stereotype of rich people have always have a tendency to be very self-centered where that stereotype comes from is probably this but as i said before doesn't apply to everybody in fact i kind of had to come up with my mind on its own prior to this video something called the light triad where basically you just look at the opposite side of each word narcissism instead of that do optimism psychopathy has two different sides to it so we're just gonna go good psychosis i guess not really psychosis but people who think crazily i guess let's put it that way and instead of big word someone with good morals or ethical so an ethical person people who have those three light much lighter versions have kind of outcomes that are either the same or the complete opposite when I say the complete opposite, that's where we kind of go back to, um, for example, the whole social media thing. The only people who really acted negatively to the, like, people who twisted the words, for example, or twisted the content into something it was not, the only people who acted negatively were those who had the three traits of what I'm calling the light triad. They would look at it, get angry about it and then give a negative response which is uh, quite frankly half the time probably the response that was being looked for the only time this didn't happen is when someone professional and neutral on the matter kind of approached it but otherwise or just you know completely ignored it otherwise people from as i said kind of what i'm calling the light triad would act completely negative and start hating on the hater where does that get anybody nowhere good that's for sure it's kind of like a um no oh, what is that thing called i actually forget what oh shoot i kind of would like to remember this word shout out to pink fox for helping me with this um what i was thinking of was newton's Amongst cradle many other yeah things. Yeah, I'm not going to deny that. But I was thinking of Newton's Cradle. That's kind of how these things work. So there's the light triad on one side of it, and then there's the dark triad on the other. Dark triad's always the first one to drop it, and then as the one side's lifted up, it'll kind of trigger the light triad, hitting it back, and then basically how that cradle works. It'll go back and forth and back and forth until somebody finally actually stops it. <laughs> one way or the other, though... Um, what I find interesting about this particular topic is more the fact that it kind of is kind of the core for things probably like controversy. I mean, controversy starts by somebody enacting the opposing idea that would frustrate people. I mean, I've noticed even like newer controversies, it always starts with hate. Always. Always. And there's only... And now, is it intentional hate? No. But that always comes from people who have these personality traits. But I digress. So what is the lighter, more similar side? Well, success. As I said, people with narcissism, psychopathy, and... Again, that big word that just pretty much means unethical. Apparently, a lot of the time, according to these studies, they have high level of success well same goes for the people who are part of the as i am calling it again the light triad um actually optimism can help push people to get to that point narcissism can do the same thing but in the in in, in opposite, opposite kind of direction it's the same idea but going about it in a different way narcissism for example People like that who end up being successful usually tell themselves they can't do it just to push themselves to do it. Optimistic people will push themselves to do it by saying, I can do it if I just do this, and they'll end up doing it. It goes in the same direction on that sense. 
And then I'm going to skip Psychopathy and Crazy because they kind of eat away, match up with the others. People who are unethical, I don't know how, but I have seen it time and time again. They actually do end up being very successful. Again, I don't know how that works, but they do. And it's kind of a no-brainer. People who are very ethical, very moral, to have very direct morals do end up uh, being successful. Ironically, in the same sense... It's just, I guess a large difference between the two is that unethical people don't really care about the outer beings. They'll just, they're basically kind of like Ebenezer Scrooge in that sense, who doesn't care what the outer world thinks. He only focuses on the money aspect, and that's about it. He only cares about himself. Well, they don't look at it that way, but people who are unethical have a tendency to do that. Then again, no one's willing to admit, th no one's willing to think that they are unethical, so that's kind of just an outer opinion aspect of it. Um, ethical people, which, as I said, pretty much anybody can call themselves that, uh, based off their own mindset, have a tendency to do the opposing, but they're still successful. They're successful in the sense where a lot more support comes toward them. A lot. Support goes towards anybody who is successful, but a lot more goes towards those who have a good standing in the world, like, have good morals, have good ethics towards themselves, and follow all of them. Which, even from for me, I can admit, it can be kind of hard to see done, see through. But I have met people who have done that, and kudos to all of them for that. I don't know. When it comes to the light triad and the dark triad, it's it can be conflicting, but at the same time, it's kind of like two individuals who go, look, we have our differences, but why don't we work together kind of thing. Weird to think about, but it is the case. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, would you say, unincluding that big word slash unethical ethical, outside of that, would you call yourself more narcissistic or optimistic or pessimistic? I don't know. Which of the following of all the different types would you call yourself? Would you consider yourself dark, part of the dark triad or the light triad? Which, again, I'm pretty sure doesn't actually exist, but I'm going to call it that anyway. Um, either way around, though, I'm going to leave this video here. Why not give your thoughts in the comments below if you have an interest in that kind of thing? Uh, if you have something you'd like me to talk about on this uh, channel, as far as like this kind of stuff goes, psychology in general, let me know down in the comments below as well. Want to check out any other discussion rare type videos that I've done prior to this? Click the link on the side of my head. Um, those don't quite pique your interest. Why not check out the link on the other side of my head where YouTube will give you an idea of something you might enjoy. Not quite that either. Why not check out the channel where you'll find over a thousand as of this recording's videos. <laughs> Either way around though, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for watching this video everyone and I hope to see all of you in another. See you guys later.